We want to tell you a story. It's a story of a community that has been scarred by decades of neglect by Westminster, but which remains unbroken and now stands ready to welcome desperate people fleeing conflict and persecution. And of a Home Secretary and a government which wants to take our country in the opposite direction, to slam its doors shut and turn our backs on those who need our help the most. So this week we're welcoming Eurovision and the world to Liverpool. Contestants representing 37 countries and more than 100,000 visitors from every corner of the globe will join us for a party like no other. And as anyone who'll visit for Eurovision will soon learn, in our city, no one is a stranger for long. Few places in Britain have been shaped by such a long tradition of immigration and exile as here. From our forebears who fled famine in Ireland a century and a half ago to the Ukrainians who are making Merseyside their home today. Our region has long been a place of sanctuary, a safe harbour in the storm. On both sides of the Mersey, many diverse communities have settled, long established Afro-Caribbean and Chinese communities, along with Yemeni and Somali, provide and create the vibrant and proudly defined city that we know today. And we know that our diversity is one of our greatest strengths and that we all stand taller when we stand together. But while my constituency of Liverpool Riverside is preparing to welcome the world, on the other side of the Mersey, a very different kind of welcome awaits. The Whittle Waters development is at the heart of our plans for the regeneration of my constituency at Birkenhead. But now, the Home Office wants to abandon 1,500 asylum seekers on a vessel based on the river. People who have experienced unimaginable trauma in the pursuit of safety will be left stranded on a floating prison ship and an active work site without decent transport links and cut off from vital community and support networks. Among those who will be visiting Eurovision this weekend is Suala Braverman, the champion of the government's hostile environment policy. And in her brief time as Home Secretary, she spread hateful lies about refugees invading Britain and steered the illegal migration bill through Parliament, a bill which breaks with international law, criminalises innocent people seeking asylum and denies victims of modern slavery the protection of the law. Suella Brabman says that stranding vulnerable people on disused ferries is the best that we can do, but we believe that Britain is so much better than this Tory government. We believe that there is an alternative. The people of Merseyside pride themselves on their solidarity, hospitality and compassion. And we don't say not in our backyard. What we say is refugees are welcome here. But if we're going to give people seeking asylum the warm welcome that they deserve, then we need to stop these inhumane plans and we need to ensure that communities get the support and the resources from central government that they need so that nobody is left behind. We also need to give asylum seekers the opportunity to stand on their own two feet. That would mean allowing asylum seekers to seek paid work and to give back to their communities just like they want to. And it means giving asylum seekers throughout the means the right to find homes of their own thus reducing pressure on the government's accommodation, which is already a breaking point. Most of all, it means providing all those who come to the UK seeking a better life, the security and dignity which all of us deserve. <laughs>